Hey guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. Last time we left off, we were continuing to, um, oop, didn't, didn't mean to do that, but let's, yeah, let's go ahead and activate it. But, uh, yeah, we just kept continuing, uh, going through Johnny's memories and we kind of see that River was sick and she really cared about the house to be built. And it almost seems like she kind of sacrificed herself for the sake of her in the house. So, it's like, I wonder why. So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze, we had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history of that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at the at a get at the at a get together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. Well, they're all happy, so that's nice. Be right back. I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Me too. Aww. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river. Still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talking of at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey, uh, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. And how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yeah, lots of them. Ha, <laughs> I used to fold the origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Well, yeah, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certain not I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Hmm. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Okay. The bartender, as you can see, is like the outline right here. Hey there, can I get you anything? hey -o, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit? Check, or cheek. Uh... I'm sorry, we don't take sheiks or checks, whatever you want to say it. I know in Arabic you say sheik, but, um... Ah, whatever, it's, it's a check. Oh, just oh, just put it on my tab, then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. Hey there, can I get you anything? Oh my god, it's amazing. Hello! Can I have a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. 
Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. I'll loosen up. I mean, seriously, it's not. It's a memory, you know? Still, it is kind of funny what he's doing. So I'm assuming we're going to give these pickled olives to John here. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting there? Yeah. Are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am! Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah, that sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation. Now! Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> I'm so gonna get you back for this. Oh, God, Neil. So that's how we got our first to to toaster. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, uh, uh. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, uh, find such things to be disgusting. Now take your time, we've got two bottles left. Oh my god. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. And you know what else is wrong with society today? Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze! Finally! Dear Lord! How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Seriously. Now, what the hell are these? Buy the construction papers or something. Wait, don't you dare... Don't worry, sheesh. See? I'm just doing it by the books. There's no Hadoukens or Shirayurukens any- HULK SMASH! Well... Neil? Seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Oh, she said that. Totally worth it. Uh, you gotta love the dialogue between those two. Alrighty, let's see how I can mess this one up now. Well, actually, this doesn't seem too bad. I can just do that, right? Uh, I didn't actually didn't do Jake did leave because I wasn't thinking. Well, let's just do this. I I can't even tell if I'm doing anything. Okay, yeah, it was hard because the paper's white, and for every reason, it just didn't look right. Whatever. So, let's uh, travel once again. Pick allows, my god, how much should Neil have to have there? He's probably pissed off at, uh, what's her name? Like no other. At Eva. Oh, look, they're even younger there. I would say probably like in their, like, you know, 50s, maybe. There's the lighthouse. Hmm. Crikey, nutcrackers! You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole! Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive! You can't just stay on here and you can't get off. Gotta hate when this happens. I swear if this place... Eva, what the... <sighs> Wuss. I mean, seriously, I mean, I know it's not going to hurt you, but I, I would be kind of scared, too. I mean, it's it's whatever, but still, I don't know. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. Yeah, this place means a lot to me, too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, 
In a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's gonna be a squeeze, but I'm sure we'd be able to see her from the window! In the morning, at night, we'd always be here nearby. And... and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the, of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's move on. Aww. It really does mean something to them. I know I Nick Nicholas said that um they got married here. So But there's other stuff that's important to them too, but I wonder what. Wait a minute. They were referring to Lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in, in the course of a job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my, he my head around it. It's none of your, our business anyway. She's not our client. So, this Anya was... the lighthouse, apparently. And, kind of like Neil said, it's kind of difficult to think that she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse. However, at this point, we don't know the full story. I mean, and even I kind of forgot the full story. I know the important aspects, but they're like, there's like some... There's some uh, bits and pieces that I can't really remember it too much, but um... I'm trying to think of it now, actually. I don't know. Okay, we're we're done. But we gotta find the memento. Get the hell out of here. I don't know where the hell that could be. The flowers, the rock, whatever the hell that is. Is that a rabbit? I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's the story just keeps shifting to like um, to like sad, happy. It's just it's an amazing experience. Um, is this how I want to do things? Let's try this. And yeah, there you go. It always finds a way. And let's go ahead and activate this memento. Yeah, it was an origami rabbit. Let's see where else we're going to be heading off to. Hmm. River? So of course, this is their old home. Or the home that they were living in before they built the other one. Um, although, unfortunately, it doesn't seem that River got the chance to see it. Um, a yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. Yeah. The rabbit. Oh, let's just continue. Actually, wait a minute. Well, this is a Never mind. Let's say this looks familiar than the house we already know of, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Let me just gonna take a look around here, um... See what other mementos I can get. This piano one? An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you can't even get, th get it through this door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. Of course, they're talking about Doctor Who. I, myself, um, never really watched an episode. And it was like, actually, an article I read, or like just an, an article on Reddit, or just an opinion from somebody. 
they really don't like the fan base of the um, of Doctor Who. The actual shows are decent, but people just end up not liking the fan base too much. But whatever. He went out for a haircut this early in the morning, and she's just sitting there making Oregon rabbits. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me, what, tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well... It's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu here. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But, like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. And see, the thing is, I can't remember to, for the life of me if they ever specifically state what her condition is. I think they do, but I could be wrong. But if you're smart enough, I guess you should know what, what she supposedly has. I, once again, I keep forgetting what it is. I, I'm not sure if I'm on the right track with it as well. Um... I'm not going to look stupid by trying to say something here, although I'm probably am, I'm really looking stupid or whatever. Many long strands of orange hair. Hmm. So yeah, it's just a lot of paper rabbits that she's making. So this is the day she started, huh? Well, apparently. Is this a memento? Okay, it sure is. So I'm, once again, I'm going to go ahead and prepare it, and um... In the next episode, we're actually going to go ahead and go through it. But yeah, hopefully, um... You know, maybe we can learn more about our condition or something. I mean, this is a little weird, to be honest here. Uh, let's see. How do I want to do this one? Maybe diagonally? Oh yeah, look, I did it correctly, guys. I, d I did it in the ideal amount of times. Sometimes, good old Pharaoh can be smart. Other times, I can be a complete dumbass, but, you know, hey, I think that's why you guys kind of love me. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play To The Moon. I'll see you guys later.